Yo, what's going on guys, it's Houston Sports Talk back in the video today, and today the Milwaukee Brewers have made a signing as they've added in a starting pitcher. Although this starting pitcher was on their team last year and started in 23 games and had a 9-4 and record, Wade Miley has re-signed with the Milwaukee Brewers on a one-year $8 million deal. I really like this addition for the Brewers. Uh, it's looking like Corbin Burns is on his way out in a trade, and they already lost one starter as well. So for the Brewers to bring back Wade Miley, who was you know, was it perfect last year, but was really solid for this team, um, was one of their, you know, was, was really good as their fourth or fifth starter, uh, for their rotation. And I think this is going to be, uh, you know, somebody they will really need next year if they're not able to find a good Corbin Burns replacement. Let's go over what he's done in the past couple seasons in the major leagues. 2023 with the Brewers, he had a 9-4 and record with a 3.14 ERA, having had a winning percentage of 69% with a 9-4 and record. And he pitched in 120 innings, giving up 99 hits, 44 runs, 42 earned runs, 16 home runs, 38 walks, with 79 strikeouts. Um, and he did give up uh, a couple hit pitch hit-by-pitches as well, three. Um, and then 2022 with the, uh, Chicago Cubs, he had a two and two record only started in only, only pitched in nine games in 2022 with eight starts. So he didn't do much, but he had a two and two record with 3.16 ERA pitching 37 innings. He went 31 hits, 20, 20 runs, 13 earned runs, three home runs, 14 walks, and 28 strikeouts. 2020 with 2021 with the Cincinnati Reds, 12 12 and 7 record with a 3.37 ERA pitch in 28 games, 28 starts, 163 innings pitched, and he had 160 hits, 166 hits given up with 64 runs, 61 earned runs, 17 home runs, 50 walks, and 125 strikeouts. Then I'm going to go over to 2019 with the Houston Astros. The last year I'll go over of his career. 2019 with the Astros, he had a 14 and 6 record. That's the most wins he's had in a season since he was an all-star in 2012 yes i did forget to mention that he is a one-time all-star but that's the most wins he's had in a season as a pitcher since his second year in the mlb and to 2012 which is a seven-year difference from 2019 through 2012 when when you know he had that amount of wins uh, so a 14 and 6 record also um had a 3.98 ERA, pitched in 38 games at 33 starts. Um, that is tied for the most amount of games he's pitched in a season. Uh, he did that twice in 2013 and 2014, pitched 33 games and 33 starts. He pitched in 167 innings with Houston, giving up 164 hits, 83 runs, 74 earned runs, with 23 home runs, 61 walks, and had a total of a 140 strikeouts. So yeah, um, I think this is a good signing for the Brewers. I really do. I think to bring him back, he's definitely showed to them he's reliable last season in 23 starts. He showed to other teams like Houston in 2019 he's reliable in uh, Arizona when he was with Arizona for a couple years. Well, he was with them from 2011 through 2014, but he showed he was reliable when he was with Arizona a while ago. That's that's the only thing is like Arizona that was, you know, over ten years ago. So I mean, joined them in two thousand eleven. Two thousand eleven was, you know, two thousand eleven was almost thirteen years ago. To you know, two thousand fourteen is last year, and there was almost ten years ago. So there's a, you can't really do much by saying. Uh, what he did in Arizona when that's almost a decade ago and or sometimes when he was with Arizona is over a decade old, but he was reliable when he was with Arizona. Uh, he was good with it when he was with Houston. He was solid when he was uh, with Cincinnati. Um, he wasn't, didn't really do much when he was with the Chicago Cubs because he only pitched in nine games, but last year he was good with the Brewers and I think that should be enough for them to re-sign him when they need starting pitching. So I like this addition for the Brewers. That's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And peace out.